Alright, we're gonna go to the gym. It's about a nice little 15 minute drive here. Just you and me. Beautiful day, but we start sweating buckets though, low key. You can put a hoodie on just to stay warm, but the weather is getting nicer, so get a little hot before you get in there, but you can't really complain. Okay, we're not going to get T-boned. It's always a W. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to chill with you on the way to the gym. Yellow light here. We're going to stop. Yeah, I kind of wanted to just talk about why I started playing League. And it sort of stems back, way back into like middle school and stuff. I didn't actually start playing League till I was in like grade 11, I think. And... Um, it stems back from like early on though. Cause like back, like I moved, I moved cities and not cities, bro. I moved from like a bum fuck town, like boonies, absolute boons to a small city, bigger town, small city. It's like 30,000 people. Um, moved there in like grade five. Right. So back in the day I was like, no dad, mom, we can't move. We can't, I can't do this. But uh, it's probably the best thing that ever happened is moving though, 100%. But I started playing like, like that's when I went to a new school and I was a new kid, right? And I was like, oh my God, like I'm grade five. I'm not swearing or anything like that, but I was just like, fuck, dude. It's just like being new and you're just getting like people asking you so many questions. And like when you're a kid, you just say like the most ridiculous stuff too, right? You have zero filter. But I ended up getting into like RuneScape in like grade six and stuff like that. Um, it worked out because like, you just be at home all day, right? When you're like that age. But then as the years progress, you get a little bit older and your parents, they start, they, they start being a little less overprotective and they give you a little more freedom, right? That's typically how it goes. Unless you're in, a, in an immigrant household because uh, I did not have any freedom whatsoever. Your boy was uh, consistently not allowed to go out or hang out with friends. Like if I had to ask, like, oh, picture it this way. If, if you wanted to go to the movie theater, you probably would just ask your mom and dad if you can go to the movie theater on Friday with your friends. And you're like, at this point, you're like 16, right? 16, 17. Um, it took, it would take me and my brother. I have a brother too, right? He's older, but um, he, three years older. So by the time I was in grade 10, he... Um, he went to post-secondary for like education, right? And then he ended up dipping, right? He moved quite quite a far way away, which um, at the time I was super choked. Uh, but it makes sense though. Like you know, when looking back on it, you're like, oh, of course you want to like like move away because you're trying to just like have some freedom, you know? Experience the world, that sort of thing. Because uh, back to the point was like, uh, asking to go to the movies was like, bro, it was like a full like, two week endeavor one to two weeks of just like begging just like begging um so that was like sort of how the parental experience was is just like we weren't allowed to do like these like normal things that other other kids our age were able to do even just like hanging out and chilling like uh i, I remember like in grade 11 and 12 those are like the years where you really start becoming social with like your classmates outside of school. And that's like, I'm talking about like parties and stuff, right? Like, um, there's underage drinking and stuff like that. Me, I don't really fuck with drinking. I, uh, I don't like the way it makes me feel, you know what I'm saying? It's just not my vibe. I feel like absolutely hung tits and I just, I don't eat anything either, which is a problem. If I don't, if I'm like hung over, I, you can kiss the calories goodbye. If I'm, ever, if I'm ever trying to lose a lot of weight, I'm just going to start drinking. Um, don't recommend you do that. Don't listen to that. That's for sure. But, um, yeah, there's like grade 11, grade 12, there's high school parties. You're uh, out there. You're trying to, you know, get a little bit of action, as, I, as they would say. Uh, don't. That wasn't. I wasn't able to do that, bro. I never got a chance to. So whenever there was like a party and stuff like that. Um, I was never allowed to go. I wasn't allowed to be outside at like night, honestly. So there's like a huge development 
social development issue that you uh, experience when you're not allowed to go out to these events and stuff like that, even though there is like illegal activities going on in the sense of like underage drinking, nothing like crazy. There's some kids at that age doing hardcore drugas, but um, if you got a good head on your shoulders, you're not going to do that. So this is all coming together of how I started playing league and why I started playing league, right? Because I had, I had some good friends. Like, I, I was never the guy who was chilling with everyone and, like, you know, like, I, 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 like, I was cool with people, but I was not, like, homies where we would chill outside of school. And especially at lunchtime and stuff, I'd always remember I'd, I'd be, like, walking around from, like, group to group. Never really, like, actually making a connection with the people that I was walking around from in my grade. I had a couple of friends that are a little bit older than me. Like I'm really close with my brother and I'm really close with a couple of friends that are his age. And then I'm, I'm close with another, um, I got some other like really good friends too, right? Like what, one, of my, one of my boys is like a year, is it, he's the same age as me, but he's, he's in a grade ahead of me. Cause he like moved here from a different place. And they do school differently there. So, I'm in grade 11, and everyone's starting to go out. Even my boys, they're like, you know, they're going out. Like my boy that I was talking to you about right there, he's going out. He's like enjoying the experience. I uh, wasn't allowed to do that, right? So, I like, we were allowed to have people over at our house. Like if people were to come over, we'd like chill at my place. But you can only do that for so many days and for so long. Damn, this guy just straight up fucking went around me there, dude. Holy shit. He really needed to beat me to get to this exit that I'm not taking. Why not? Um, yeah, so they're going out and like, and like you, you can only go to my place so often and do the same shit. Like just play like 2K or GTA or some shit. Like you can only do that for so long before it gets hella boring. And I used to get super choked about it. I used to be like, yo, why, why are my boys not like coming to see me anymore and shit like that or why are they not coming around often but it makes complete sense like i used to be upset about it but it makes total sense it's like you like these like you're in like grade 11 grade 12 you're trying to party and enjoy your last few years of high school and you're trying to like do something right you're trying to get a little bit of action and i just wasn't allowed to do it right like just what just didn't happen so i was pretty choked for a bit and i was like kind of hurt but like you get older and you kind of understand like dude you can't expect people to do that that's kind of fucked up you can't expect people to just like drop what, what they're trying to do just to cater to your feelings. It's not really how that works, man. So as I'm in grade 11, my brother's moved away. I'm at my parents' place by myself, all alone. My friends are doing other things. They're not really hanging out with me outside of school. I started to get really lonely, right? And I didn't really have any sort of like group, like I said, where I was able to just like talk with people and like, you know, form connections and have like a bond, you know, a community, a sense of community I just did not have. And that's when I was in grade 11 English and my boy, um, my boy Joe was like, yo, have you ever heard of this game called League of Legends? And I was like, I have no idea what that is, right? So then I like go home and I download it and um, me and him play a game and I have no clue what's going on at all. Like it's, the game is so different from any other game I've ever played. Just even like the way you like move your characters and stuff like that, just down to the mechanics of the game is completely different. But um, he ended up hopping off cause he was playing, he, he was doing other shit outside of just gaming and like he had like other things on his plate. Like he was like a, in like um, cadets and stuff like that, right? So we had other obligations. All I did was I, I played basketball and then I would go home. That's like my only, my only sense of freedom was if I was playing basketball, I could actually leave the house and play basketball. And aside from that, I'm sitting at home and um, I never really like got along with my parents very well. I'm a lot better with it now. I've like, you know, you forgive, forget kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I started playing league and I have no clue what's going on. I'm playing like, I'm locking in Kale and I'm building like Milady and like Nasher's Tooth and just like boots of um, Berserker Greaves, you know? 
Like, I'm just building those. I'm just building straight attack speed. No clue what's going on. And I just kept playing the game. I said, I get, like, I had, no, I had nothing else to do, right? Like, aside from doing something productive where I could have, like, started, like, a business or some shit. I'm, like, this 16, 17-year-old kid. Like, I do, I don't, you're not doing that when you're that young. At least for the majority of us, we're not doing that. Props to you if you did that or you are doing that. Like, shout out to you because that's, like, actually goaded. But me, I uh, was not doing that. I was 130 pounds, zero self-confidence, that sort of thing. So I just started playing League. And then I started meeting, like, random people in normals. You know what I mean? You play normal games. And then you started queuing up with people. And this is when chat was lit, right? Like, you'd be, like, chatting with, like, your, your team. They'd be doing some stupid stuff and then going, like, lol in all chat or, like, something like that. And um, I, like, queued in a game with some randoms. And then we all killed. We absolutely killed the game. And then they invited me to their party, their four-man stack. And I played a couple more games with them. And we were just having fun, just killing. Time's flying. It's like 2 a.m. in the morning. And uh, there's one dude named uh, Skull Duggery. It's like D-U-G-G-R-E-Y at the end. Skull D-U-G-G-R-E-Y. It's like something from a book. I, uh, I never read the book. I, I don't really read books that often. But... Um, me and him, we were just, like, chopping it up, bro. Like, it was crazy. Like, it, it felt like he was my actual, like... I will say he's my actual friend, but you know what I mean when I say that. Like, it felt like we were actually friends. Like, we were just absolute homies. We would legit hop on league after school. It was, like, a three-hour time difference. He lived, like, three hours ahead of me. So, I by the time I'm off school, I'd hop on at, like, 3, 3.30. And then we would just, like... We just queue up and just talk shit about our days and like, you know, like how life's going, stuff like that. Talking about securing the bag, you know what I mean? Uh, there's a couple of other people in that stack. This other, other dude's name is like Mr. Twisties, one, two, three, four. Um, but yeah, we would just play, bro. It was sick. It felt like, and like the lore with the game and like all, all the champions, the music, the champs like music, all of it was so um, inviting, bro. It was, it just like, it was, just, it was a different world, and that's where that community came in for me, at least. Because I, I, bro, I did not have like in grade 12, I don't think I hung out with many, like, I probably hung out with someone outside of school like three or four times, bro. It was pretty sad when you think about it. Um, but it's just nuts, bro. Like, like that's why league is like crazy to me. It's like that's why it's a part of my life. That's why I still play. Like, I I take hell. I quit a couple times. Not gonna lie, I'll probably tell you about those. Um, and like other, like next time we chill or something like that, I'll tell you about those. But it was just so gnarly, bro. Like it's this whole different like community, this whole different experience, especially back in the day in like 2013. Damn. That's like 10, 11 years ago. That's pretty much when I first started playing. Holy shit. Time time flies, bro. It's nice because I know you guys are around my age. Like, I know you're around my age, which is awesome. So it's like, well, I, I'm, I guarantee we all experienced something like this. And it just felt good. And I know there's so many haters in League right now. And, like, it's just super toxic. And the people just, like, absolutely sweating and, like, just, like, they'll, like, call you a troll. They'll in your game, stuff like that. That was always there. I'm not telling you, but bro, back in like 2012, 2013, people would int and like some people wouldn't even know they were inting, which is a crazy part. So uh, it's not like the game was immune to that back in the day. It was still just as toxic, but it was definitely fun, man. It felt really good to be a part of something bigger than just like yourself. It felt like it felt good to be able to escape hard parts of your life just through just through gaming. And I think that's why people still game a lot. That's why I do sometimes, man. Like, when life's hard, bro, you just need some sort of outlet. Like, just gaming or hitting the weights. Like, bro, if I could if I could make a bag by gaming, league, and lifting, I'll say I made it. So, that's why we'll, we're, we'll still, we'll st we're still working on it. But I will say the game's dope. It feels good. I feel it's a little bit faster now than before. Um, League changed my life, bro. Like, it's crazy to think about that. Uh, it's crazy that I was just down bad for so many, so many years. But it was always there for me, you know? I could always hop on the rift. League's not going to tell me no. 
you know? I mean, some games they'll tell you no. Some games they'll make sure your team's fucking loser queue, you know what I'm saying? But it does feel good, man. It does feel good to play the game. And that's sort of why I did play the game. I just wanted to feel good about something. Like, I wanted to feel like I had control in some sense of my life. Because especially when you're that young, you don't really have that much control. Like, you're still listening to your parents and shit like that. And, like, you don't really have that... Um, that not anonymity but you don't have that like autonomy right you don't have the ability to just do what you want when you want you're answering to your parents and sometimes sometimes they don't know what's best for you but they'll try though Major like 99 percent of parents out there bro they they want the best for you which is why they're so strict and i definitely see it now i understand completely why they were so strict with me but um it would have been nice to be able to actually like form a deeper connection with some people my age when i was in class and stuff and like high school but hey i got league i got you and i got these gains so i'm gonna I'm go lift thanks for thanks for uh chilling with me and i'm i gonna probably slap some league gameplay after this it'll be good my beard's gonna be thicker though because i just trimmed it's been a while since i had a fat beard now i look a little bit different it's gonna grow back a whole day though anyway i'll catch you later okay we're playing twisted fate we're playing against leblanc here uh, i took bone plating because pretty aggro she took tp but electrocute i'm trying not to sure. not to die early i think we'll be able to survive lane as long as we don't die early you know trying to farm it out here oh damn I want to get that minion, so that is what it is. Electrocute did really like nothing to me because I have bone plating. Just gonna be trying to farm early, trying to ignore the sudden urge, trying to ignore the sudden urge to try and auto attack her. She's gonna hit two here. I'm just gonna sack a minion. I don't really care that much. Go key second. Get that one. I have mana flow. Not too, too worried about stacking it just yet. Don't really care too much about that. It'll stack when it stacks. I'm gonna go Rada Ages just so I don't get one shot by LeBlanc. We also have a Darius Karthus as well. So we gotta keep keep that in our thoughts as we build. Sona on, as well, because that means that... Um, I'm down, I don't mind. The minion blocked the chain, which is good. So it was a really good trade for us. But like I was trying to say, was they have a Sona as well. So Banshee's Veil might be a opportunity here. A good opportunity, you know? First blood. Riven just sacks and dies. LeBlanc is heading over. I'm just going to be shoving out. Maybe she'll try to trade. Who knows? Eyes open. I got this. He's not looking to trade. Oh, she missed. Nice, nice, nice. So I can help out with, uh, I'm gonna pop a potion here. I can help out with this crab, Echo. I don't mind doing this. I'm gonna dip though. I, uh, I don't have anything else. Their whole bot lane rotated over too, so I'm just gonna base real quick. Okay, so. Oh man, I missed that. That sucks. Oh man. Oh well. He's gonna TP. I'm gonna make her TP, which is good. Um, super unfortunate that Karthus is able to to grab some like kills based off of his death. He's doing what he should be doing. Yeah, our bot lane's not there, so we can't do that. So we'll just go top side. It looks like. Arthas is uh, interesting. Might just 
hate this guy. Kind of cringe, if you ask me. My boy thinks he's funny. All I can really do is say that uh, LeBlanc is MIA. Damn, I missed the uh, cannon there, but we clap this guy. I want a ward. Go Persona. Go Persona, go Persona. That sucks. Okay, we got uh, heal flash. Not bad. I don't know why you ping loot. Go for Lucian there. I'm one of a guy. I am going to hover gold. Zareth doesn't understand that I'm on a ward here. So if I waited... Like the five seconds, I, I think it wouldn't have happened. I'm just gonna base. Got a good opportunity here, cannon. An enemy has been slain. I'll be ba bases for sure. LeBlanc goes base. This minion decides to go under turret. Missed three there, but I can ghost down. You can try and freeze or something. I'm just going to ghost at her. Let's get out of here. LeBlanc is around. I'm just gonna pop both potions. Take the super, super safe way. Not super scared of LB. She doesn't have what it takes to one shot me. I have bone plating up in like a couple seconds. I got sustained from Catalyst. I'm locked in. I don't mind taking this trade. I'm just going to base anyway. Actually, I'm not going to base. She's just going to shove out anyway, so won't miss anything. Now I'll just base. We're good. Probably ult. Not bad. Kaisa got it. I'm just gonna get out of there because Darius is around. An ally has been slain. Jeez, brother. Shut down. Darius dies too, that's huge. Not bad. Stop it. Stop it, lady. Oh, nice. She's just gonna W away, though. That sucks. It's my lucky day. Thorn Rose. Dareth might die here. They get another drag, it's all good. Oh shit. I will stun, but I think he's dead anyway. Yep. 
An ally has been slain. She did ult and everything, so I have a good chance to base again. Yeah, we missed like one minion, it's whatever. She's rotating bot. Literally no clue where she is. I want to drop a ward though. Might have went base, who knows. She did go base. Sounds good. Oh, she has M pen. M pen boots. I got lucidities. It's all good though. Come on, taking a bone plating trade if she wants. Don't mind that. I wonder if they're going to push. They're probably not. There's no way they keep shoving. They just run away. That's a ward somewhere here. Just the luck of the draw. Don't mind that. An enemy has been slain. I can't get there. It sucks. Shut down. Don't mind that. Nice. I'm gonna base. I'm dead though. The block might just roll up on me. I have no idea. Shut down. I need to fucking run, dude. Thank God for these minions. Oh shit. Oh, I got a flash. Let's go. <laughs> oh shit. That was crazy. He has no ult here or anything, which is good. I got a rod. I'm gonna grab that, grab that gold there. Ouch, bruh. I don't know where LB is. She might just be like looking to commit mid. We have no clue, right? There she is. Ludens. Okay, we have a chance to um, prep for drag here. We should take it. He's gonna ult away, which is good. Oh, nice. That's huge. That's huge for us. He's gonna chest TP though. It'd be cool if she died a little bit like later, you know? Slain. I get this turret though. Clear as day. Your team has destroyed a turret. An enemy has been slain. I want to go for it pretty bad, but if we do that. Your turret has been destroyed. Fuck, I have a red card, dude. And we lost Echo, that sucks. That was not good. Was not the person to die there, unfortunately. That sucks. If we just ulted, we would have had that drag, bro. Now we got a 50-50 a drag. We have such good vision here, too. I step up aggressively, I'll probably fucking die here, but whatever. Yeah, they're gonna sweep everything. We're gonna lose all our vision now. 
Frustration ensues, bro. Nice. I'll go sit them. You should be dead. Nice, dude. Nice echo, brother. Nice. An enemy has been slain. LeBlanc is somewhere around here, right? I'm here. He should be dead here too, right? He's got everything. Everything's on him, bro. Wow, that's crazy. You fucking ghost flash. Oh well. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god. That's so sad. I just fucking baited Kaisa there. That sucks. God, no, dude. Ouch. Crazy we lost a turret like that. I still wanted one, the one auto. I thought my blue card auto would do enough, but it clearly didn't. I baited her. I'll admit. Like 1 HP, bro. 10 HP. Dude. You have that one this time, bro, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, Echo. Securing the Arthas there. We can push mid for sure. Someone ignited there. Oh, Riven ignited. Okay. We have like one more wave. So maybe we can pressure mid turret and then just go bot lane immediately. <laughs> Your team has destroyed a turret. There is a LeBlanc there. I'm just gonna hold gold. That's what, that's what I'm talking about, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. I'm locked in. We do miss the wave bot lane, though, which is sad. But whatever. That's what I am talking about. Killing yeah, I'm gonna get this cannon here. Give me that. We can do one more wave, I think. And then we'll base. Rod of Ages isn't even stacked yet. We're 14, so we're going to be 16 in no time, bro. Damn, brother. All dead. We're just going to ghost on this bitch. You should be dead. Oh, wow. That's huge for us. I got red buff. I got red buff. Arthur no flash. He went exhaust smite. So. I don't mind this. Your team has destroyed a turret. I don't mind that at all. And then we should go here. We 
you need to do that ASAP. Uh, no summoners though, so we gotta fucking immediately just like burst it and then leave. We just gotta do it, we gotta do it, we gotta do it. We gotta go, we gotta go. Do it, do it, do it. They're just gonna sack it, I think. So I'm not too, um... I'm not able to just, like, stat check Darius at all. The king of stat checking, so... I'll be 16 in a minute here. And then we can look to just force. Don't mind if I do. I don't want to just waste my stack deck, so I might just like let a minion or two die here. Your team has destroyed a turret. He should be a kill here. He should really be a kill. Yeah, he's just a kill. Riven for Darius is not bad, considering we have Baron. And they use Karthus ultimate. Oh wow, LeBlanc coming in. I don't mind tanking. I got Zanya still. I'm dead though. That sucks. Come on, bro. I played that crazy too. You saw that. Stun card Zanya's Q. I got all my damage out without fucking dying there. And then I ended up dying afterwards. Okay, we opted for Zanya's instead of the Rabadons. That's because of Karthus ultimate. Um, I was expecting him to do way more damage. Also, this guy—I remember this guy said mid gap too, which is crazy. That's mad funny. Get this turret down. I'm doing like a lot of damage with my sorcery elixir. This guy should just die, I think. I'm gonna go on Sona here. I'm just gonna die here though, but it's whatever, right? Oh, nice, nice, nice. We just went for it. We sent. That's a throw, but I was feeling myself, you know? Oh my god, bro. I'm here. I'm here. We're here. Karthus is gonna die. Yeah, he's fucking toast. Oh, he's dead too, no? Is he not dead? An enemy has been slain. Shout out to Darius for getting the pull out there. Nice, let's go. W, bro. I fuck I carried that. Let's go. Got ourselves a chest. 87 LP. This is the closest we've gotten to diamond in a minute. So you're telling me our next game. We win our next game. We will be diamond. Come on now. You love to see the come up. You love to see the come up.